So hello and welcome to today's class. Now today we're going to be looking at page 83, now which is 9 and 10 review. Can you understand this text? That's the reading exercise now. So page 83 looks like this. And the exercise we're looking at is, can you understand this text? Now, so can you understand this text? Read the article, how did the dolphins protect the swimmers from the shark? Now, let's have a look. Let's read, shall we? Dolphins save swimmers from a shark attack. Lifeguard Rob Howes, his daughter Nikki, 15, Karina Cooper, 15, and Helen Slade, 16, were swimming 100 metres out to sea at Ocean Beach in New Zealand when suddenly seven dolphins swam towards them. They were behaving really weirdly, Mr Howes said, swimming in circles around us and hitting the water with their tails. One dolphin swam towards Mr. Howes and Helen, who were about 20 metres away from the other two, and was trying to push them towards the other two girls. Then suddenly, I saw another huge fish swimming around me, and Helen, swimming around me and Helen, said Mr. Howes. It was in fact a three metre long great white shark. It was only about two metres away from us, he said. At that point, he realised that the dolphins were trying to herd the four of us together to protect us. The shark then went towards the other two girls. Mr Howes was terrified, especially because one of the swimmers was his daughter. But the dolphins pushed the four swimmers back together and circled around them for another 40 minutes. Mr Howes decided not to tell the three girls a shark was sharing the water with them. Fortunately, the shark finally swam away and the swimmers all reached the beach safely. I swim with dolphins perhaps three or four times a year and I have never seen them behave like that, said Mr Howes. However, dolphin expert Ingrid Visser said that there have been other reports from around the world about dolphins protecting swimmers. She said that in this case, the dolphins probably sensed the humans were in danger and took action to protect them. Now that is an adapted article from a British newspaper. Now take a moment to read the article again so that we can answer the questions. How did the dolphins protect the swimmers from the shark? Now again, pause the video, have a look because when you come back, we'll check the answer. So welcome back. Here's the answer, are you ready? So, the dolphins pushed the swimmers together and swam around them, no? So they pushed the swimmers together and they swam around the swimmers. That's how the dolphins protected the swimmers from the shark. Now, let's have a look at exercise B. It says, read the article again and mark the sentences T for true or F for false. Now, before you read again, let's look at the questions. Question number one. The swimmers were swimming very near the beach. Question number two, the dolphins were doing strange things. Question number three, Mr. Howes and Helen were separated from the other two swimmers. Question number four, one of the dolphins jumped out of the water. Question number five, Mr. Howes saw a big fish swimming around the other girls. Question number six, Mr. Howes understood that the dolphins were trying to help them. Number seven, the dolphins stopped the shark from attacking them. Number eight, in the end, the swimmers were rescued by lifeguards. And number nine, an expert said that dolphins very often behave in this way. Now again, take a moment to look at the text more carefully so you can answer the questions, true or false. Now let's correct, shall we? Have you got some answers? Well, here are the answers. Question number one. The swimmers were swimming very near the beach. This is false because the swimmers were 100 metres out to sea in the first paragraph. Question number two. The dolphins were doing strange things. Well, this is true. Now, they mentioned the behaviour of the dolphins was very strange. No, they were acting weirdly. No? Number three. Mr. Howes and Helen were separated from the other two swimmers. This is true. And the dolphins pushed them together. Do you remember? Number four. One of the dolphins jumped out of the water. Now, this is false. They were doing strange things, but it's not mentioned at all. 
Now, there are other strange things mentioned, but they don't mention the dolphins jumped out of the water. Number five, Mr. House saw a big fish swimming around the other two girls. This is false because he said it was around me and Helen, no? So he was, no, one of the people, no? The big fish was swimming around. Number six, Mr. House understood that the dolphins were trying to help them. This is true. Number seven, the dolphins stopped the shark from attacking them. Again, this is true. They protected the swimmers. Number eight, in the end, the swimmers were rescued by lifeguards. This is false. The text says that the swimmers all reached the beach safely. Now, those are the answers, no? One to eight. Let's take a look. Oh, excuse me, number nine, excuse me. An expert said that dolphins very often behave in this way. This is true. Excuse me, Ingrid Visser was the expert, no? Now, let's look at exercise C. It says, look at the highlighted words or phrases in the text. Guess the meaning from the context. Now, we'll read through the text to make sure there are no vocabulary problems. And as we meet the words, we'll explain. Now, so dolphins save swimmers from a shark attack. Lifeguard, Rob Howes. No, a lifeguard is somebody who usually works at the beach or the pool, no, to make sure everybody is safe, no, the lifeguard, el socorrista, no? Rob Howes, his daughter Nikki, 15, Karina Cooper, 15, and Helen Slade, 16, were swimming 100 meters out to sea at Ocean Beach in New Zealand when suddenly, no, de repente, suddenly, seven dolphins swam towards them, no, hacia ellos, towards them. They were behaving rather weirdly, no? Behave, no? El comportarse, no? Now we have here, weirdly. Weirdly means in a strange way, no? Se comportaban de una forma rara, no? Extraña. Mr. Howe said, swimming in circles around us and hitting the water with their tails, no? Golpeando, no? El agua con sus uh, tails. What is a tail? Is the next word. Well, tail is the part that sticks out of the back of the body of a bird, an animal, or a fish, which the animal can move from side to side or up and down, no? We usually call it, no? The tail, no? La cola, no? One dolphin swam towards Mr. Howes and Helen, who were about 20 meters away from the other two girls, and was trying to push them towards the other two girls, and to push and empujar, no? Then suddenly I saw another huge fish swimming around me and Helen, said Mr. Howes. Now huge is the next highlighted word. Huge means very big or enormous. Huge, huge. Now. It was, in fact, a three-meter-long, great white shark. Now, it was only about two meters away from us, he said. At that point, he realized, no, se dio cuenta, he realized that the dolphins were trying to herd the four of us together to protect us. Now, protect is the highlighted word, and it means, excuse me, it means to make sure that somebody or something is not harmed injured or damaged. But we have this very nice word here, no? To herd. Can you see? To herd the four of us together, no? And this is, this means to put animals or people into a group, no? So to herd is to lead or to make into a group. No es como empujar en grupo, no? To herd. No, como hacen los pastores. Un pastor en inglés como es shepherd, no? Porque qué hace? Mm, no? Lleva al rebaño, no? So this is the idea to herd. O sea, como empujar o llevar a un grupo junto, no? Now, the shark then went towards the other two girls. Mr. House was terrified, especially because one of the swimmers was his daughter. But the dolphins pushed the four swimmers back together and circled around them for f another 40 minutes. Mr. Howes decided not to tell the girls a shark was sharing the water with them. Share, do you remember? Sharing means having something at the same time as somebody else. No, es como compartir, no es tener algo a la, no, a la vez que lo tiene otro. Fortunately, the shark finally swam away and the swimmers all reached the beach safely. Well, reach in this case means arrived. No, they arrived at the beach safely.
I swim with dolphins perhaps three or four times a year, and I have never seen them behave like that, said Mr. Howes. However, sin embargo, no obstante, no, however, dolphin expert Ingrid Visser said that there have been other reports from around the world about dolphins protecting swimmers. She said that in this case, the dolphins probably sensed the humans were in danger and took action to protect them. Now, in this case is highlighted. In this case means in this particular situation, in this case, in this particular situation. So those are the highlighted words. And that's it for today. Thanks for watching.